Hello everybody, welcome back to Syntastic Gaming Plus. I'm Sin. Here we are in East Shade. Now where we had left off, we had just solved the mystery of Mr. Historian's missing book. And now we are free to continue on. We also unlocked the ability to make a reed boat suitable for sailing in coastal waters. The only thing we're missing are some heavy reeds. So what I'd like to do is I would like to go and get some reeds and be back with you guys to go and sail to the next area. So I will go look for some reeds and I will be back. Oh, never been here before. I'm on the coast. I'm just traveling around by my bike. Oh, there's some reeds. That's the last reed I need. Ooh. And we'll be able to go and make our boaty boat yes i've never been over here so there's the nava is there anything special about the of course it's, it's getting nighttime just when i just when i arrive at a new place that's when it decides hey i'm going to go to sleep now it's time for nighttime well it's pretty nice down here nice beachy so i don't know if i can actually go in the water here but uh let's see if we can I can make my boat now. It is suitable for sailing in coastal waters. Woo! Look at that boat! Actually, my boat. It's a little bumpy. <laughs> Here we go! Sailing in the coastal waters. What's over there? Let's find out. Definitely faster in this boat than I was in the raft. I'm actually going against the current, which I'm surprised I can do. So let's see what's over here, if anything at all. Ooh. Ah, I'd say that was a natural arch. I don't know if I can paint while I'm in my boat. Can I? Can I paint while I'm in my boat? No, I'll paint while I'm in my bloody boat. I can. Okay, cool. I would consider this to be a natural arch. Is this enough? Nope. Oh well. Woo! Burr! Icy! I'd see a lot more if it was daytime, but at the same time, the ice really contrasts the sky. It's a very beautiful sight. I don't exactly know what I'm looking for here. This isn't really where I expected to get in the water. But that's okay. It's all about the journey, not the destination. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty sight. I don't know where I'm going. Just enjoying the sights. Ooh, is there like Aurora Borealis going on over there? There's some nice colors going on, that's for sure. It's like green, green, purples, but I think it's just green. Okay, where are we? Where the heck do are we? We're we're here, and then we went through there. So we're literally going all the way around. I don't want to go all the way around. I'd rather go... <laughs> okay, let's go in here. So I, I want to actually go to the Tithmore Bluffs. Ooh, look, there's like a cave. Let's go into the bloody cave, shall we? Let's enter the Tunnel of Love. <laughs> Getting a little tight. <laughs> wow. Pretty. Hmm. 
and you come out the other side. There's a nice big iceberg up ahead. The sound of the paddling in the reed boat sounds a lot like a dog drinking water. It's just like lap 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 lap. So it looks like there might be some people up ahead or something. It almost looks like a camp or some kind. I don't know. Alright, so right about here we can actually get off. Back that up. I'm on the ice now! Ooh. Hello! Are there people up here? Excavation site. I've reached the northern reaches. Cool. Hello, Mr. Bear. You guys look kind of cool. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take your stuff. <laughs> oh, a book. Property of CDR Liliana. Week 14. Continuing our excavation of the glacier, we discovered what appears to be the entrance of a collapsed tunnel. We've also found some ancient carvings in the ice. Most of the time my ears are frozen and my fur thick with icicles. I don't know how anyone ever managed to live here. Week 16. The nights continue to grow stranger. We've taken to scheduling watches. Last night, Fadir swore he saw a figure standing atop the glacier across the bay. As he watched, the thing stretched its arms out wide, growing larger and shrieking. Fadir called out, and the person fell forward, dropping off the glacier. I woke up to Fadir screaming in a state of panic, but in the confusion, we couldn't tell if the figure hit the water. This morning, we took the boat to look for a body, but there was nothing. I can't help but think Fadir was just having a nightmare, but part of me isn't so sure. End of week 16. I'm writing this by firelight. I don't think it's safe here. Mayra has been talking to someone invisible whenever she thinks we're not listening. Vidir continues to talk of figures in the night and insists we're all going to die. I shouldn't let him keep watch anymore. I could have ignored most of this, but now, all around us, I hear whispers. They're soft and gentle, but every so often one voice screams, a horrible twisted sound that echoes across the ice. I think we need to leave here. Hmm, sounds creepy. Oh, you guys are playing some sort of a chess game? Cool. Hello. Hello! Are you from the university? Are you here to relieve us? Sorry, no. I'm just a traveler. Oh, sorry. It's a long way north for the typical tourist. We're a research team for the University of Nava, excavating these glaciers in search of an ancient cavern. Records show this place might have been extremely important for early inhabitants. But the progress has been slow. We are kind of expecting the university to send someone calling the whole mission off. Well, why would they call it off? We've been... struggling. But I digress. I'm Commander Liliana. Nice to meet you. It's great to see a new face. What's causing the struggle? Oh, these glaciers. So full of mystery. Look, I'm not a superstitious person. I didn't get to where I am now by believing in spirits and ghosts and the like. But the further we dig... Well, things are getting eerie. Visions and sounds we can't explain. This is the reason I wrote to call off the mission. Surely there's a sensible explanation, but my crew has other notions. It's driving a wedge between us, undoubtedly. Hmm. That sounds awful. It's kind of ridiculous. Obviously, there's no such thing as being haunted. And now, just as we reach the cavern entrance, the tunnel collapsed again, blocking us out. No way to tell how bad the damage is. To top it off, I made the stupid call to leave the artifact bins in there last night. We might have lost everything. Months of progress, lost in a single night. We're at our wit's end, that's for sure. Well, I want to help. We can arrange that, but let's plan for tomorrow. It's been a long day already, and the crew will be wrapping up soon. We have a supply tent I'm sure you could squeeze into. Cool. I do have my own tent. Does it have the extra padding and lining to survive a night out here? I'd rather you use ours than turn into an icicle. Alright, fine. I'll sort the tent out for you. In the meantime, why don't you get to know the crew a little better? They'd appreciate seeing a new face. Certainly. 
Well, so far it's just a bear. Hello. Had a chat with Commander Liliana, did you? She managed to recruit you yet? Kind of. I'm going to stay the night. <laughs> Maybe you can take my spot and I'll head back to Nava. <laughs> well, I heard about the hauntings. Uh, right. There are records of an ancient spirituality in the area. It seems to me that we might have struck a curse by opening this tunnel. You mean magic? No. A curse set in place by ancient and sacred rituals. I can't be sure how these things work, but it seems they do, based on the terrible experiences we've had. What kinds of things? Well, we've seen these uh, figures surrounding our camp. They're always whispering. Mira, she's got it the worst. She hears something talking to her all the time. It's like a demon by the way she describes it. How would you reverse the curse? The texts on this area of the world are sparse. There is some information that hints heavily at curses, but I haven't found much on how to reverse them. Hmm. What makes you think it's a curse? Well, we've seen okay, these well, same thing, figures same. surrounding It all sounds camp. creepy. I'll tell you. We're all very much looking forward to getting away from here. As exciting as the cavern find may be, I just don't get a good feeling from it. Mira's been having an especially hard time with everything. She specializes in glaciology, and, well, Liliana is worried that Mira should have been able to foresee the cave-in. They had a falling out this morning. Not that I should be telling you any of this, but I'm worried about her. I think it'd be great for her to see a new face. We're all starting to get under each other's skin. I'll do my best. She walked up to the northern shore. It's a nice place to take a break. Seems less... cursed, I guess. The northern shore. This way? Hello? Anybody out there? So here's the cave in. So if I go this way, am I going to find her, or am I just going to get lost? There's a bear. Hello there, bear. Uh, hello? Are you real? Of course I am. I'm a traveler. Oh dear. Well, that shows you what state I'm in. I didn't expect to see a tourist all the way out here. Well, I heard about the hauntings. Yeah, this is one creepy place. Best day of my life when I set foot on this big old block of ice. But now, I really wish we'd never come at all. Mm, because of the demons? Who told you that? Was it Fadir? He's always butting into things. I'd like to help. My grandmother told me about spirits that haunt people who make bad choices. I always thought she was just getting me to behave. But what if it's real? So, what did you do wrong? What? In my whole life? A lot of things. But since we've been here? Nothing. Well, I stole Liliana's dessert rations. Tell naughty, me, naughty. what would you suggest I do about the thing that won't stop talking to me? Hmm. Find out what it wants. Okay, I know you're just trying to be helpful, but I actually don't feel like talking about it anymore. It's a lot to deal with. I have another question. What did you want to ask about? The dig. We're trying to access an important cavern inside the ice, but someone, or something, doesn't want us to find it. What do you mean? Strange things have been happening ever since we got here. This place is just... <sighs> creepy. Can I ask you something else? What did you want to ask about? Fadir. Fadir's a historian and an archaeologist. 
He was one of my professors at university. He thinks there's a curse bringing on the demons. He has all kinds of ideas to break the curse. But I think they're just making things worse. And Liliana? Liliana is our commander. She says she doesn't hear any of the voices or see any of the creepy things we do. But I think she's lying. She's just trying to protect us. I see. Well, I'll leave Bye. you be. Bye. Bye. Alright, so we're just gonna walk back to the dig site. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? There's a person up there. Weird. It's like a monkey shadow. I don't know if I'm supposed to see that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> monkey shadow. Looked like a monkey. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> I'm back. I think I managed to make enough space for you in the tent. Might be a little cozy, though. It's yours to use when you're ready. Thank you. And that would be this one, right? The one that you had gone into? Ooh, I'm going inside. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh. <laughs> I can hear the voices. They're whispering. What's going on? Mira ran inside the tunnel. She was screaming her head off and just went in. What? We can't go in there. I tried to stop her. We don't have a choice now. Oh my gods, how is this happening? It's just two black bear silhouettes talking to each other. Can I, like, sleep until the daytime? I mean... I guess it is morning coming. Okay, so you guys have nothing to say. I'm just gonna go head over there. She cleared the tunnel, or the tunnel cleared itself? I don't know, but let's go inside. Hello, hello, hello. Mira, Mira, Mira. I shouldn't go in here alone. It's not safe. Well, they didn't actually... Why did you over I couldn't talk to you guys. I heard voices. Tens of voices, all whispering so loudly my brain felt like it would burst. I came out here to check on you all and saw Mira running off to the tunnel. She got through the rubble and now she's in there. We need to help her. She yelled something about finding out what they want and just ran right in. Whoops. <laughs> it's not safe in there. I don't know why we're still standing here. I I'm going in after her. I'll come too. Okay. Fedir has lost his mind, too. We should go with him. You should go first. Do I get a say? Nope, we're going in. Let's move. That's in order! Okie dokie. Wait for me! You coming? Okay, you're slow motion running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I told her to find out what they want. I didn't mean for her to go rushing off into the cave by herself. Wait for- oh, everything's getting trippy. Must have been the dream tea. <laughs> Whoa! Mushrooms! Cool. Are you coming? Yeah, she's just walking now. Whoa! <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? What? Where? Am I? Hello? I think these, these are- Ooh, it looks like a pearl. Hey, there's a person. This is strange. What do I do when I get to the end of the dock? Oh, I just walk in the water. There's people. The- Chickens! Mm. What's going on here? Huh? It's a puzzle. I think. I don't understand. Am I trying to get up at the chickens? What 
wait for me, chickens. I'll save you. I can't jump across that. Um... I'm sorry, I don't understand. Is there a way into the tower? No. There's a flame in the center. Is that what I'm reaching for? Okay. So, let's stack these up, maybe three high in the middle. Oh! <laughs> okay. So, the chickens were not the answer. <laughs> and... We'll put these too high. And then... Oh my god. Can I reach it? Eh. Oh, I touched it! I made it! Woo -woo -woo. Touch the flame! Did I burn my hand? Where am I? Ooh. Cool. Finding stuff. Mushrooms. Whoa! Hi! Hey, are you alright? It seems we've all had a bout of hallucinations. I think you might have managed to save us somehow. Well, what did I do? I took the light. I see. It's okay, we're all still recovering. When I came to, I found you here, next to all our artifact bins. I thought maybe you were trying to build some kind of shield, but... You must have stacked them up, and... That hole... Of course it's a vent! When you pulled out those ice chunks, all the spores dissipated! Spores? Look at all this icy fungus. Fedir just identified it as a highly potent hallucinogen. We must have been breathing in the spores while we were digging. Oh. And that led to some powerful experiences. Mine was about four golden owls, leading me down a path to... Well... It doesn't matter. These were pretty neat mushrooms. They're fascinating. Brought me right back to my days of experimenting with the roots. Although, not as pleasant, really. Fedir is over the moon about this. To think, we've been making our situation worse with every step forward. I'm not sure how you knew what to do, but I'm glad you were able to air out the spores. Thanks to you, we survived and even managed to recover the artifacts. I'm just glad we survived. Cool! Yeah, look at all those spores. They're all going out the vent now. Cool! I solved another mystery. Look at that bird. That's a cute birdie. Maybe I should take a picture of that birdie. Yes. Let's take a picture of the bird. Craft 15 canvases. Cool. Birdie. Oh, pretty bird. <laughs> Never know when you're gonna need it. Wait for me! Go away, paint thing. Thanks for running in there after my crew. The existence of this cavern is amazing enough, but the discovery of the spores is going to help solve some big historical questions. So what will you do now? We have lots to do now. I'm going to write back to the university immediately to inform them of our findings. Good luck. Ah, now it's morning. Pretty morning. Let's see what your buddies have to say. But what about those monkeys that... I was seeing, even though I hadn't gone in the cave yet. That's just weird. Hey, you. Mushrooms? Ugh, I've always hated mushrooms. I really thought that demon would be the end of me. Well, I'm glad that you're safe now. I ran in here last night to find out what the demon wanted. I guess that wasn't really the best choice looking back. But I'm glad everything got sorted out. Thanks for the advice. No problem. I'm glad you're feeling better. Well... Now the real research can begin. Infidir? I suppose it makes sense that all the visions were from cave spores. Can't believe I didn't see it sooner. I guess the spores were what made me think it was a curse. 
Yes, that must be it. <laughs> Imagine a real life curse. <laughs> anyway, it'll be nice to do some actual research for once. Uh, we'll have to get some coverings for our faces to ensure there are no more curse like experiences. <laughs> Alright, well, it's nice to. Uh... Can I go in the. Oh, I wanted to see what you did inside the tent. But anyway, it was nice to meet you guys, and I'm glad that everything's been taken care of. So enjoy your artifact hunting. <sighs> Alright, so we gotta get back in the water. I think we can go that way, and it should help get us back to land. The mainland. Alright, back in the boat. Back in the boat. In my boat. Whee! <laughs> Get on the boat. Here we go. Whoa, rocky. Rocky start. <laughs> Alright, so if I see anything interesting, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I will see you guys when we get back to the mainland. Ooh. There's the sunken ship. I wonder where we're going to pop out. I wonder if we can actually get on that ship. Ooh. The water's too deep to... Aw, we can't go in the ship. Oh well. That's unfortunate. Got to see a shipwreck up close. That's pretty cool. Alright, moving on. Ooh, look at that. Look at all the birdies. There's a windmill. And here's the beach. I think we're about to step foot on the Tiffmore Bluffs! Ooh. Pretty! Black Paw Beach! Ooh. Let's see if there's anything else on this beach. Got some common reeds here. And a stick. Ooh, a shtick. Boop. Boop. Birdies. Alright, so let's go up those stairs. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh. Tiffmore Bluffs. We've made it. Ooh, pretty flowers. I hope these ones don't have a warning to not, uh pick them, because I'm a-picking them. Aww, the music is so nice, too. Aww. Oops. Oh my god, this place is beautiful! beautiful end to this episode, I think. But I want to take a painting of eh, a windmill first. Because I know that's one of the things that Mama wanted. Oh, well. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so let's take a painting. Reason. There we go. Mother's Memorial Paintings. You painted one of Mother's most beloved places to keep it safe, preserve her memory in the painting menu. Okay. Come on. I got a cat on my lap. It makes it hard for me to... Hey, why do you keep doing that? I, I want to actually select my canvas. Oh, I don't want to paint over it. I want to select it. Oh my goodness. Mother's painting fulfilled. Beautiful. That's a 
I think that's a beautiful place to end this episode. So don't forget to like the video if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care, eh?